Hey guys, my name is Dan and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Arsenal's first Champions League game of the season. And um, yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't the best, it wasn't the worst either. There's a lot of things that we can take away from this game. Um, obviously it was 0-0 against Atalanta away at Italy. Um, it would have been nice to have a home fixture as the first game like we did last year. But um, yeah, going away to Atalanta was never going to be easy. Uh, I think some Arsenal fans probably took it for granted. Um, they absolutely destroyed Liverpool last season. They're a good team. I've got a mate who's um, you know, a Serie A fan and um, yeah, he's you know he talks uh, talks good about Atalanta and, and about their coach and their players and the squad depth that they have, you know. And we've also been quite dodgy on the road uh, in the Champions League over the, you know this season, and last season. Um, so yeah, I, I for one knew that it wasn't going to be an easy game, um, and especially with Erdogan being out and some of the other injuries we've got, um, I thought you know what it's going to be a real tough game this. And it proved to be the case. Um, Atalanta were very solid defensively. They were always a threat going forward, although I think especially in the first half, we had that threat pretty well. Um, they came at us a lot more in the second half. We had to deal... We were on the back foot the whole, whole time for me uh, in that second half. I thought we were going to come out stronger and better, um, but we didn't. We kind of got a little bit worse. Um, yeah, very sloppy from everyone, really. Uh, Martinelli had a poor game. Uh, Jesus had a poor game. Um, Havertz is probably the best player um, on the on the on the pitch. To be honest with you, I mean, you know, apart from Rayo, obviously, who I'll talk to you in a minute. But um, uh, Saka looked tired. Martinelli was off. Um, Partey was sloppy. I mean, he had a terrible game, especially in that first half. Um, you know, the defence as well, just couldn't keep the ball, couldn't string too much passing together. Um, um, and we didn't press either. Our pressing was really off this game. Um, really poor. It was just a really, really poor game from us. Uh, you know, we have to hold our hands up and say that. Um, David Ryan, for me, is the only player, only player that can walk off that pitch with his head out high. Uh, absolutely amazing save. They got a penalty, you know, towards the end of the end of the game and you're thinking okay here we go they're gonna get a BS 1-0 win um he saves it pulled off a really good save initially and then obviously the player headed it back towards goal and he saved that off the goal line which is absolutely amazing um so yeah brilliant absolutely world-class goalkeeper I think the whole debate about him in Ramsdale now is officially over um you know blatantly David Ray is the better goalkeeper um Ramsdale was is a good goalkeeper, and I think he was probably the best backup goalkeeper in the league last year. But um, he absolutely deserved to go to you know go to Southampton and get lots of minutes. Although I think he's going to have a terrible time over there. I think they're going to be in a relegation fight. But um, yeah, the whole debate now is over. Like, oh, we should have kept Ramsdale. No, that's all gone now. Like, Raya is an outstanding goalkeeper. It's another clean sheet for him. That's the only good thing about this whole game really for me is that we kept a clean sheet defensively we were kind of more solid offensively we were absolutely trash um some people say it's because Erdogan I think yes okay Erdogan does unlock games for us sometimes you know he does pull out a, an assist or a goal out of nowhere sometimes he, he hasn't done that this season though you know he hasn't got a goal or assist this season um so far you know although it's only been like a handful of games but um I don't think it's all down to the fact that it's early on. I think just players are off, a little bit off. Um, you know, Sterling came on, didn't really offer too much. Um, I'm a little bit worried about that. There's still a drop-off when Saka gets off the pitch for me. Um, but yeah, Trossard came on, just couldn't really work his magic like he normally does. Um, some people like to see St Trossard start, and I can understand that. What I mean, He's earned it, to be honest with you, but I just way prefer him coming off the bench. I think he's way more impactful off the bench than he is when he starts games. Martinelli, I don't know what's going on with Martinelli, to be honest with you. Um, you know, he had, a really, he had two really good chances to win this game for us, and the second one was towards the end of the game, after the penalty. Um, and yeah, just hit it. I think he skied it, and um, yeah, two years ago, Martinelli would have buried that, or just slotted it in somehow. Um, he's off, I don't know why he's off, but he is. Um, I think Arteta's trying to play through it. Um, again, I think the best case for Martinelli right now is he runs their, that, their wing-backs ragged. I mean, he absolutely, he's got pace, he's always blistering, you know, even though his end product's off at the moment, it's just gone. Um, 
you know, he still puts a lot of work in, he tires the defence out, and that way, that's where he, when Trosser comes on, he allows him that extra second to kind of bang a goal in. Didn't work this game, obviously, but, you know, it's worked a couple of times already. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You know, a, a, a point away uh, from home for your first Champions League game of the season isn't the worst thing in the world, especially even the fact that, you know, for large parts of the game, Atalanta outplayed us. Um, they were the better team, I think. They had to be. They were at home. I get it. Um, but um, it's still disappointing. We should have won this game. I think we had enough to win this game. Um, the midfield's just dodgy at the moment, though. Partey, for me, he had a good game um, against, in the North London derby, but he had a really terrible game this game. I don't know why. The whole team did, to be honest with you. Apart from Havertz, Havertz is always a threat. He's a, such a goal threat. He's such a... Uh, aerial threat as well. Who if you balls to him? Uh, he was getting them most of the time. Um, so he's probably the other player, maybe, I think, that, you know, can walk off the pitch having been proud of himself. Everyone else is a little bit sloppy. Uh, Saliba made a really good um, last-ditch tackle towards the end of the game as well. Um, I think it was Lukman that was through. Uh, he tackled him, which is great. And it was one of those tackles you had to get perfect, otherwise you give away another penalty. So... Um, yeah, defensively we're all right. It's just defensively in, in the midfield area we're just really poor right now. Uh, really missing Odegaard. But I think, you know, we could really have done with Marino, you know, as well. Um, it is what it is. It's nice seeing Califiore come back on. It's not great to see that, you know, our defence is even more solid now than it was because obviously he's back and Tim is doing well as well. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is. It's, you, you could choose whether you can see it's a really good point earned away from home or two points dropped. Um, it is, it's up to you with how you want to see it. For me, I kind of see it, I, I saw it as two points dropped towards it, you know, the end of the game. As soon as the game finished, I was like, we blew that massively. But now that I've had sleep on it, and I think, you know what, a point away from home, you know, it's not a bad thing. If we can win our home games, then it shouldn't leave us in a good position. Um... So, yeah, it is what it is. We've got other games focusing on now. Obviously, we've got Man City on Sunday, which is going to be absolutely a titanic game. If we play, you know, what I'll say is if we play against City, the way we play against Atalanta, then City is going to win that game pretty comfortably. Um, we have to be way better. And I don't, know whether, I don't know whether the City game is on the players' minds, and that's probably why we dropped off a little bit. Um, especially in that second half. I thought we were going to come out guns blazing. We didn't, and we were just... The whole second half reeked of us trying not to concede. Just don't concede. If we can get them, if we can get a goal against them, great. But just don't concede. So, you know, the plan obviously worked. We didn't concede, even though the penalty that could have easily gone in. But David Wright is just such a mounting goal now. Um, so maybe yeah, maybe the city games on the players' minds, and you know, it's not ideal to have, you know, a Champions League game away in Italy on Thursday and then on Sunday you're playing at the edge you had against Man City, especially when you're the ones challenging with them. So, um, it is what it is. We'll have to wait and see what we'll do against City. If we can get a point against City, I don't think that's a bad week, to be honest with you. North London double win, a draw away in the Champions League and then a draw at the edge had a pretty decent week in my opinion. If we can win, great. Um, I think we're really going to miss Erdogan. He's going to be out, I think, until November, I've, I've heard. I don't know whether that's true, but um, yeah, he's going to be a massive miss. And this you know, a huge week. Spurs, Champions League, and then C. It's just unbelievable timing. And that international break is going to piss me off for quite a long time. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. We've got a draw. It's not too bad. We get to move on now. And um, yeah, I'll, anyway, I'll, I'm done talking about it now. So yeah, so we've got a massive week going up. Um, like I said, you know, if we can get a point against C, then you know, see how it goes. But um, yeah, anyway, guys, let me know what you thought about the game. Let me know what you thought about the team. Uh, David Ray is well class, obviously, but I think everyone else is ripe for criticism. Um, you know, I don't think anyone, any of the outfield players did well except for maybe um, Herbert, should I say? Um, yeah, we'll have a conversation about it in the comments. Let me know what you think about the C game. Do you think we have a chance in that? Um, and let me know what you think about the all the injuries we've got right now as well. So anyway, guys, have a really good week um, and a good weekend as well. I'll be back probably, maybe not Monday because it's my holiday, but maybe Tuesday. I'll come back Tuesday and talk about the Man City game. 
uh, win or lose, we'll have to wait and see. But um, yeah, anyway guys, have a good weekend, weekend and I'll see you guys very soon. Adios.